Grounding is an issue for all analog designs, but particularly when it comes to power supply design. This is why proper implementation is essential in PCB-based power supply circuits. Fortunately, there are a few guidelines that can reduce or eliminate the majority of grounding issues. Separate high current and lower current loops, including their grounds. The noise generation and operational performance of a power supply depends on current flow. All currents flow in loops. The high current and lower current loops must be separated and must be connected by as short of a conductor as possible. Separate AC and DC grounds. If these grounds are not isolated from one another, noise can sneak from one loop to another and the power supply can be unstable. So that the grounds aren't floating, they do need to meet, but this is typically done at a star point near the input return. Separate analog, digital, and power sections of the PCB. Some power supply circuits have analog sections, power sections, and digital sections on the same PCB. It is necessary to separate analog and digital circuitry to prevent digital noise from corrupting analog performance. Such separation involves separation of both ground returns and power rails. Use ground planes. By placing ground planes on both sides of the traces and on both sides of the PCB, electromagnetic interference, due to high current traces, is reduced. The large ground conductor areas act as electrostatic shields, trapping the radiated energy in the form of eddy currents, which dissipates as heat. Using these tips will significantly help reduce grounding problems in your next power supply design. Contact Advanced Assembly to learn more about designing for PCB assembly at aapcb.com.